Frozen shoulder is a condition where the shoulder does not move normally. The shoulder joint is a joint between a humerus and scapula. The shoulder joint is supported by ligaments and a capsule. Frozen shoulder is also called adhesive capsulitis. The patient is unable to move the arm up or turn it to the side. The patient will have loss of external rotation of the shoulder. Here are some examples of some frozen shoulder patients. This condition is painful. It occurs due to thickening and tightening of the shoulder capsule and ligaments, especially the crocohumeral ligament. X-rays are usually normal. Frozen shoulder can occur by itself or following trauma, even from a minor trauma, and it can follow surgery. The process of frozen shoulder usually begins with pain. Pain is severe, especially with movement, and the patient is usually unable to sleep. The patient will be unable to move the shoulder from the pain, and the condition will lead to stiffness of the shoulder. Frozen shoulder may take a long time to resolve, perhaps even several years. The condition of frozen shoulder occurs more in diabetics, especially those who are insulin dependent, and the condition is more severe in diabetics. It also occurs in patients with Dupuytren contracture and hypothyroidism. Frozen shoulder tends to occur more in females, especially in their fourth decade of life. Examine the patient's range of motion both actively and passively. Differentiate the shoulder movement from scapulothoracic movement. Examine the other shoulder. The risk is high for the other shoulder to also become frozen. Exclude dislocation of the shoulder, especially posterior dislocation. With posterior dislocation, the patient will have limited external rotation, the same as adhesive capsulitis. Obtain an auxiliary view x-ray to differentiate between the two conditions. Not every frozen shoulder is adhesive capsulitis. Please exclude dislocation, diabetes, infection, fractures, and tumors. Treatment includes early aggressive uninterrupted continuous physiotherapy, pain control, shoulder manipulation and injection. Surgery is sometimes helpful to release the contractures. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.